What's up YouTube, it's Mark from Kentucky, back in another video. Uh, freshly back from the National. Uh, got back at home Sunday afternoon, was so tired, didn't make any videos Sunday, so uh, just got off of work, so figured I would shoot you guys a quick video, and this is a, this is a video that uh, was unexpected. Um, this is going to be a $100 budget video of what I picked up at the National for 100 bucks. We got this stack of cards here. There's 41 of them, and they're Hall of, most of them are Hall of Fame uh, vintage cards from 1960s and the 70s. There's some uh, rookie cards in here too of Hall of Famers from the from this from the 70s, and I uh, picked up this whole stack for a hundred bucks. Um, that just goes to show you that uh, you know there's something for everyone at the National. I was a little bit worried about the prices on stuff. You know, I only got to go one day. I only got to go Saturday. Which is was awesome. Even if you if even if you only get to go one day, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, I was I wish I could have went Thursday when I could see all those uh, dollar boxes and vintage boxes before they got all picked through. But uh, I still did pretty well, I think. Um, made a lot of tubers. Had an awesome time talking with everybody. Uh, really didn't hang out a whole lot. Because, uh, like I said, I was there for one day on a Saturday, and I wanted to see as much of the show as I could. Um, so, uh, any YouTubers out there, uh, I apologize if you think I was uh, short with you. Uh, I don't think I was short with anyone. I hung out with quite a few people for a pretty good amount of time. Um, but just an awesome time, awesome experience. And uh, this is what I got. I mean, this I only bought from four, four different booths. Uh, while I was there because I was looking for deals um, and uh, what I was looking for basically was cheap slabs and um, cheap vintage and I was able to pick up some really nice cards out there so I'm going to show you this hundred dollar budget video and I'll come back with uh, another video with the rest of my pickups but here we go guys um, so these came out to be hundred and eighteen dollars total but the guy told me while I was picking through the boxes, he said, uh, pick you out a stack and uh, and I'll do you a little better. So I picked out a huge stack, come to 118 bucks, and he said 100 bucks. Then of course I said 90. He said, no nah, man, I can I can do a, I can do a 100. So I was like, all right, cool. So you have to negotiate when you're here too, which you'll find out in a couple of my other my other videos on on this uh, these other cards I bought. But so first card, 1976 Gary Carter, dollar. It was four bucks, but he had this marked for a dollar. 1976 Jim Rice. Dollar. Two Hall of Fame second year cards in pretty nice shape for a dollar. 1969 Willie McCovey, Sporting News. Dollar. None of these cards have creases in them either. 1964 Stargell and Clendon. A dollar. 1970 Sporting News Willie McCovey, a dollar. Mm. Crazy. 1972 Tony Perez, dollar. You can't buy these on eBay for this amount of money with shipping or anything. There's Joe Morgan's 1975, a dollar. And these things, I mean, look pretty dang crispy too. Uh, Ron Guidry, rookie card, a dollar. I had this grady, but I didn't have one raw for so for a buck. I'm gonna take that all day long. 1975 Tony Perez, a dollar. 1977 Rod Carew, a dollar. Hindsight being 2020, I should have went back back to that guy's booth and picked out some more. Uh, 1973 Steve Garvey, a dollar. If I had another day, I would have. This was an awesome card. This is an awesome pickup. This is a 1963 Tony Oliva rookie card for uh, $10 is what it was marked at. I mean, it was he had it $50 originally. Um, it's got two little soft corners up here, but that's an awesome card. You can't find that card cheap on eBay either. So, super happy to pick that up. 
I know Cub fan 7523 Jason picked up one of these cards uh, also, an Oliva rookie, and I've been looking at those on eBay here, here and there, but couldn't never find a good price. So when I found that sucker in there for ten bucks, I put it in the stack. Bill Buckner rookie for a dollar. Why not? Nineteen seventy. This is a Deco Edge. Bob Gibson. I forgot what years these are from. This one's from. It's, I think it's '69, I believe. Second year Andre Dawson cup card for a dollar. Oops. Get up there, Bob Gibson. 1977 Steve Carlton for a dollar. Bill Medlock rookie, 1974 for a dollar. I've got this one graded as well, but I mean, it can't beat that dollar for that card. 1970 Fergie Jenkins Hall of Famer for a dollar. 1961. This is a cool card because it's got Frank Robinson Vita Pinson on it. Uh, Reds Heavy Artillery. I really like that card. That's awesome. It's off center, but there's no creases in it. Yeah, that eight bucks. Got that one for two bucks. Well, less than two because he gave me a deal. But I like this one a lot. 1969 Home Run Leaders with Ernie Banks and William McCovey and Richie Allen. Pretty cool card. Al Oliver rookie for three bucks. I've got this one graded too, but for three bucks I could not pass that up. Really like this Keith Hernandez three dollar, 1975 rookie card. Happy to have that. He should be in the Hall of Fame, man. That goes a vacuum at first base. Brooks Robinson, 1975. Corners a little dinged up or down there but that's still awesome price 1975 Steve Carlton for two bucks he had a bunch of these in the box and I just went through and picked out the one that was in the best shape that one's pretty nice off center in a little bit but two bucks Jack Morse Hall of Fame pitcher rookie card two bucks I mean that's freaking awesome I've got that one graded too but this is one of my favorite ones. 1969 Sporting News Johnny Bench. Look how young he looks there. I guess his rookie was in 68, so this is like a second year card for three bucks. He had it 10. I mean, that's just a really cool looking card. I like it a lot. The color pops on that with the yellow and the green. Just really nice card. 1969 Rod Carew Sporting News. Like that one a lot too. 1969 Brooks Robinson, Sporting News. Man, I should have went back to his booth. Uh, 1977 Bruce Suter, rookie card, Hall of Famer, five bucks. Like I've got this one graded too, but 15 on the back. You look at that. But for five bucks, I'll do that all day, every day. Greg Nettles, 1969 rookie card. So this guy's not a Hall of Famer, but he was a solid player. Uh, third baseman for the Yankees. Awesome card. For three bucks. 1970, Willie McCovey. It's got some corner issues here and here, but two bucks. 1970 from Hall of Fame card. Hall of Fame player. 1970 Jim Palmer, three bucks. 1970 Steve Carlton, three bucks. This card's sharp too. 19, I mean, just awesome deals that you can't pass up. Oh, we're falling down. 1974 Willie Stargell, a dollar. Tops for a dollar. Nice card. This one I didn't take take out and look at the condition very very good. This is a, I guess these are 69s. That card game, Hank Aaron. You guys all know like I like Hank Aaron quite a bit. 
And if you look on, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's kind of rough down the side here. But still, I mean, that's a vintage card, 1969, or one of the best players ever to play the game of baseball, in my opinion, and the true home run king, in my opinion. Awesome card there. This is a Ted Simmons rookie for two bucks, 1970, or excuse me, um, 71. And for eight bucks, 71s are tough, you know, the chipping in the corners and stuff. I messed up. I should have bought a. He had a Burt Bylevin rookie in there for ten bucks too, and I didn't. I didn't snag it. Uh, there's a 1969 Steve Carlton. This is a nice card for ten bucks. Well, I didn't pay ten for it, but you know it was in the stack. 1977 Nolan Ryan. Sweet card there. 1979 Nolan Ryan. Nice card. Really, really sharp. That, that 79 is really sharp. Just off centered. I like that one a lot. I like this one a lot too. 1974 Mike Smith, second year card. I'd been looking at this card on eBay for quite some time actually. And happy to pick that one up in this condition for that m amount of money. And last but not least, picked up a, a Rich Gossage 1973 rookie card. Marked it eight bucks. It's off centered a little. I want to have a graded. It's off centered too, so it's probably about the same quality card. So that's my hundred dollar budget video of the National guys. It just goes to show you right there that. There are some stuff that's overpriced, but if you shop around, you're patient, you look through the bargain bins, you can find some really nice stuff for a really cheap price. So uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. Uh, if you like my um, videos, pre please give me a sub. Uh, I'm looking for comments down below. Let you know how. Uh, want to see uh, what you got, how you guys think I did. And I got more videos of the national coming up. So uh, stay tuned and keep on collecting.